Turnstile and Bad Bad Not Good, New Heart Designs, EP Review, Let's Chat About It. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning. Here tonight to chat about this surprise new EP from a Canadian jazz band, Bad Bad Not Good, as well as Baltimore-based hardcore band Turnstile. Now, I've been a fan of both of these acts for quite some time. I've been singing the praises of Bad Bad Not Good since their BBNG 1 and 2 days. I've been such a huge fan of their work. Yeah, I mean, 3 and 4 aren't that good. I mean, they're okay, but like what they've been doing recently has been pretty awesome. And Turnstile, you know, in the early days, I questioned their authenticity, but I've kind of become a big fan of what the band has been doing as well. I can't deny uh, that their Glow On record was one of the best punk records of the last few years. They're headlining festivals for a reason. They are on fire right now. Now, a few days ago, we got this surprise new EP, this collaborative EP uh, between the two of them. This is mostly a reworking, uh, completely a reworking, I should say, of three tracks from the Glow On record that Turnstile put out a few years ago with Bad Bad Not Good. You know, kind of putting in some jazzy improvisational instrumentals in the background, and it's, uh, it's, um, it's, it's a weird one. This EP starts off with Mystery, and if you are a Turnstile fan, you know this track. It was one of the most anthemic tracks on their Glow On album. I mean, it's a, it's a very, you know, it's a very big sounding track. And then I hear this reworking, and I'm just like, okay. I mean, I just personally didn't need this in my life, and it really didn't do much for either artist here. I mean, on paper, there's nothing really wrong about this track. I mean, Bad Bad Not Good, uh, their instrumental is very whimsical and sweet and just really, really well done. Turnstile's Brendan Yates, as far as his vocals go, they are passionate. They really do fit the bill as far as the style of music goes. But all the excitement and all the sense of adventure of the original version of this track is completely gone out the window. It's an interesting take on this track, um, but but that's kind of where it ends. If you're gonna listen to one track on this EP, though, I, I would say it would be the reworking of Alien Love Call featuring Dev Hines of Blood Orange. This already hazy, chilled out, and dreamy track uh, literally screams a collaboration between these two. I actually really do love this interpretation. I really love the meditative percussion, the lapping guitars, the really emotional vocals that we get here as well. There's nothing wrong with this track. I'd listen to this track again and again and not have anything wrong with that. Also, Dev Hines also sounds just as at home on this version. And the extended solo that we get towards the end of it, um, you know, it's actually really, really well done. This track as a whole is great. This is the kind of collaboration I would have just really loved to see more of. This is the kind of sound they should have been going for. But then we get to Underwater Boy, this interpretation, and like, it's just so okay. It's just fine. I mean, the very funky and groovy approach to this version, uh, it's certainly very different. It completely stands apart from the original, and Bad Bad Not Good do their very best to bring this track up to snuff with a very groovy, very soulful performance. But once again, this, this, this version doesn't really change anything. There's nothing about this version that's better than the original. On the contrary, there's elements of this version that actually detract from the original and just... It makes me want to just go listen to that again, which that's not really what we're here for. And I don't want to take anything away from either artist. You know, Turnstile brought their A-game. Bad Bad Not Goods, their instrumental here, I would argue, is one of the best on this album. If this was, you know, a standalone Bad Bad Not Good track, I could actually get behind this quite a bit. Ah, oh, no, man. Th this is weird. I mean, the thought of this EP, you know, leading up to it, I, I was so excited. I mean, nobody saw this coming. I certainly didn't see this is coming, but there's nothing that really stands out about this EP. I mean, the versions here, they're interesting takes. They're interesting, you know, alternative takes to already great songs. But outside of moments on Alien Love Call, I would argue that nothing about this EP does anything that the original tracks already didn't do much better. Not only that, but half the time, I would say, like, Bad Bad Not Good are sounding great on their own. Turns out bring the passion and the emotion, but something doesn't click at the end of the day. It's, it's a weird one. Definitely listen to it. You're going to if you're a fan of either act, because there's definitely good ideas here, but as an EP, 
This is an odd one, and I can't see myself coming back to it too much. I'm feeling a decent four on this, but let me know what you all think down below. If you like the video, be sure to give us a like, give us a subscribe, and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future. And until next time, have a great day, friends.